Our Fox 5 I team has learned that airport officials paid a politically connected vendor more than $360,000 in expenses, even though he had no formal airport shuttle contract at the time. Now, the confusion took place after Mayor Kasim Reed failed to sign the vendor's terminal shuttle contract for nearly a full year. Uh, senior IT reporter Dale Russell is here now with the report and how he found it. Yeah. Russ, and that's interesting. We ran across this $364,000 payment to the airport vendor while looking through the city of Atlanta's new portal, Open Checkbook, put in place by Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. It's a website that allows the public, including reporters, to track city spending. And the timing and amount of the check to this vendor, with close ties to the Reed family, surprised me and others. Wow. In a word, um, a city councilman and a good government watchdog. What? We're shocked the airport paid a potential vendor more than $360,000 for money he says he spent before his contract was signed by then Mayor Kasim Reed. The evaluation was flawless. It all started two years ago, December of 2016. The Atlanta City Council awarded a three-year contract with a two-year option, potentially $18 million to run shuttle buses between airport terminals. Mayor Reed is a long-term friend of, of mine. The winning bidder, Daryl Anderson, owner of A National Limousine and a longtime family friend of then Mayor Kasim Reed. The two even invested in a real estate deal together. Anderson was already managing taxis at the airport and he was now set to take over the terminal shuttle contract as soon as Mayor Reed signed it. Four yeas, one nay, and one abstention. But two months after the council vote, while the mayor was expected to sign the contract, the Fox 5 I team reported on an earlier business deal Anderson had with the mayor's father. Anderson was an investor in a South Carolina recycling business. Junius Reed was CEO of the company, according to court documents. The I-Team obtained checks written by Anderson to either cash for capital plastic recyclers or to Junius Reed personally for advanced CPR, totaling $67,000. Anderson buy? told me the money paid to Mayor Reed's father had nothing to do with Anderson's airport contracts. Following our report, Mayor Reed didn't sign Anderson's new contract. What do you make of Mayor Reed not signing the contract that would have allowed Daryl Anderson to take over? Well, it would be good to know why he didn't sign the contract and allow that to be uh, fulfilled. We got no explanation from Mayor Reed through a former spokesman of his. So end of story, in a word, no. Even though he didn't have a signed contract, Daryl Anderson wrote the city saying he had already spent a lot of money getting ready, hiring people, training, insurance, and more. He wanted to be paid. What? With Sarah the Henderson, government. director of Good Government Group know. Common Cause, says any veteran vendor should know that city council approval is not a signed contract and they shouldn't spend money until that contract is negotiated and sign. But certainly, I cannot imagine a scenario where the city would be on the hook for three hundred and sixty some thousand dollars. I mean, that that's just that's ridiculous. Airport officials seem to agree. One wrote Anderson that the contract had not been signed and we would not proceed with the transition and later warned Anderson about not incurring any additional expenses until we have a signed contract. So no payment was made. Then on Mayor Reed's last working day in office, a full year after the council vote, he signed Anderson's contract. And Anderson, once again, asked to be paid for those earlier startup costs. Then Airport General Manager Roosevelt Council authorized full payment of $364,000. That included at least $136,000 for expenses that took place after Anderson had been told to stop spending money on the unsigned contract. Wow. Andre Dickens is the new chairman of the Transportation Committee. He says he'd never heard about the extra payment and plans to have his committee investigate. Yeah, this is surprising. This is definitely a surprising situation. Now, an airport spokesperson emailed me to say the situation was unusual and unanticipated. The spokesperson says they verbally told Daryl Anderson to prepare for the shuttle work 
anticipating the mayor would sign the contract. They didn't know it would take a year. They reviewed the $364,000 transition costs and felt they were reasonable. Russ, okay. Marissa? So, do you have any idea, Dale, why it took the mayor so long to sign the contract? We, we've heard a number of different things. The one thing that is consistent in all the versions of the, the story that we've heard is he was very angry about our story about the checks that we showed and the business relationship between Daryl Anderson and his father. Mm -hmm. and, and most people believe that that was one of the reasons he didn't sign. Interesting. Interesting to follow. All right. We will. Dale, thanks very <laughs> much. There'll be an investigation, it looks like. Thanks.